Hello folks, uh, Dave Parrish here at Knack Builders. Today I'm going to do um, one, a new topic on Knack for me. How to automate a new vendor onboarding process. So, and this could actually apply to new customers or whatever. When there's a process to bring them, you know, into the fold in your company. Let's say you have a new vendor, you need a bunch of information about them, they have to fill out some tax forms. Uh, banking information if you're doing direct deposits maybe they have to provide some sort of credential or certification or whatever uh, a typical process that I've dealt with it before is you get a bunch of emails with different documents or they say you know go to this section on our website and download these documents or whatever and then emails are going back and forth um, and it's sort of uh, honestly a pain for each side uh, gathering the information, knowing for the vendors that you're onboarding, you know, have they finished this stuff? You're checking, uh, you're putting stuff in a file. Well, they haven't done this yet, whatever. Um, this is a process uh, that can be easily automated uh, using NAC. And uh, I've done a few of them, and I'm going to take you through how to do that right now. Thank you. Okay, I'm back here with our topic for today, uh, how to automate, automate a new <clears throat> vendor onboarding uh, process for your company. Uh, I'm going to start off with just the data structure on this. It's actually very simple. We have the admin, that's the people at the company uh, who want to onboard folks, and the other user roles are their partners. In this case, they call them partners, but the vendor you're onboarding. And then there's just each partner has an application and this has all the content of the different um well let's go to that you know the company names what they do contacts blah 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 documents they got to upload um and then uh related to that there can be notes so each application someone might be taking notes on there's one to many there can be several notes and a history of them and then others some supporting documents uh, that the vendor can grab. In this case, I think it's like a partner agreement and tax forms. Um, that's sort of how it's set up. And then we just have uh, a section on the pages build out where it's grouped by the admin role, it's grouped by the partner role, and there's some other stats type of things. But pretty simple data structure for this. So let me just take you through how it works. Um, I'm going to start on the admin side of the company when they have a new vendor who they want to hook up with they just click uh, add a new partner they're basically creating an account for them name email they're in this case they're going to set a password for them and once this is submitted an email goes to this partner saying hey welcome Here's the URL to, uh, or here's your account, and here's how you access this with the URL. Here's your password, um, and then it is going to tell them to, once they're logged in, that they can change that. And you can even set up a process where uh, it requires them to change it. Uh, so the partner now gets an email. Let's go to the partner. Here's a partner. Here I am, and right here is my application. They're going to click on it. Here's the application. It says the status, and if they just got this, it wouldn't be completed. You know when it was created and who the contact is. Um, and then underneath here are those documents. You're going to need these documents. You're going to have to uh, fill out a partner agreement, uh, tax form, or whatever. Now. Some of these we could actually create doc the documents within NAC. We chose not to. Um, they, they're going to need to download these, sign them, and then upload them. So uh, once they get that stuff together, they can access uh, their application. Here's the status of it. They can click on it and see all the information. Or 
uh, once they're filling it out, we have it in sections, uh, one, two, three, four, the different things that they do. Um, this could be a multi-part form, you know, where you have this is the form, and then you click next once you're done filling that out. Then you click this, and it advances through until the final thing where it says, you know, you're finished. I don't particularly like that in some situations. Um, if they navigate away from it, they can get confused on where they are. If there's a required field uh, in one of these, let's say section two, they will not be able to advance to section three until they have that. Uh, and they may not, and when they're filling out all this stuff, do it in this order. So this allows them to do it in any order they want. And when they're done, they have to say, hey, we're done with it. Submit it as complete. So they're filling out, you know, various information here. Uh, just typical boilerplate stuff. What do you do? And, you know, levels of whatever. Uh, they have to sign their agreement and then upload it. They have to provide uh, tax and banking information. And then once they say they have all this stuff done, they can submit it as complete. And there's a few items like the banking and agreement uh, that are, if they haven't done that or skipped that section, uh, it won't let them submit because these are required. So, so once it's submitted, it's automatically time stamped and the status uh, goes to complete. Um, and then back to the uh, admin side, they get to see a list of all the folks that they're working with, the status of them, um, all kinds of different things that help them in the process and know if someone needs to phone call or an email, say, hey, can you get this done? We need to get going on this. Uh, they can view basic stats. I'm going to make this a little more robust, but in volume of things, the different types of vendors they have, blah, blah, blah. Um, and they can drive down and see detail on anything in a history of notes if there were notes taken, add new notes. That is uh, pretty much it. So it allows something that was in an old process, emails, maybe even faxes, um, uh, file folders, do they have this, where are they, what's going on, and puts it all in one place where everyone can see, and uh, it makes it pretty simple. And this, by the way, is really easy to build in that. This is, you know what you're doing, a couple hours uh, and then some tweaking. Uh, so a useful thing. Um, if you like it, like my, uh, like this video below. I'd appreciate it. Um, and that is all I have for today. Thank you.